All right, hello, hello, hello to all of the Geminis out there, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Welcome to Vision of Light and Love. This is your reading for the energy in July. If you are a returning viewer, welcome back. If this is your first time stopping by, welcome, welcome, welcome. And if the reading does not resonate with your situation, feel free to check out your Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign video. Cross watchers are welcome as well for a personal private reading. The links will be posted in the description box below this video. All right, so you, your first card out is multidimensional, okay? So the frequency of multidimensionality activates the awareness of your true essence, which is eternal and multidimensional. Then you have transparency. The energy of transparency supports our expansion towards a higher vibrational state of being with more insight, honesty, and clarity. So some of you are coming into yourself, okay? You are looking at things from different viewpoints. You are open to the way other people think. You are open to the things that are around you. You are presenting yourself as being transparent, okay? In order to enlarge your insight, in order for you to be honest with yourself and not be a hypocrite, in order for you to gain some type of clarity, okay? And then you have tenderness, okay? So I feel like this transparency is bringing on a more tender side of you. The energy of tenderness activates our capacity to open our hearts. So your heart is open to receive and approach the world and each other with gentleness and care. So some of you are being transparent in a relationship, okay? And because you are being transparent and you are looking and thinking about this other person's feelings, you are able to connect with them on a different level, all right? The numbers 30, 40, and 43 could be significant to you. Let me know in the comment section below. But let's see what else is here. Let's see what the several cards are saying for the sign of Gemini. What else is here for the sign of Gemini? Okay, let's see. Okay, so someone here, I see someone taking action to, to have this new beginning in love, or some of you may have met an Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. This could also be a Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. And this person is wanting to offer you a new beginning in love. If this has not happened as of yet, this is what's coming in because this is what's on your mind at this time and this is what you are manifesting. All right? That someone comes in to offer you this new beginning in love that they take action towards you. Fire sign or a water sign because in the past, something here came to an end. There was an end, could have been with a Scorpio, and I feel like it caused you to, to think about your actions. That's where this transparency come in. Because in the past, some of you may have been overthinking a situation, okay? Overthinking, contemplating, how did this happen? Is this really over? So on and so forth. And right now, this transparency is allowing you to rebuild from a tower moment, all right? You are rebuilding from this tower moment. I see. Could be done with the Scorpio again. Someone could also have Aries in their chart. But I feel like because you went within and you didn't look outwardly, because a lot of people go through things and they tend to look at other people instead of going within. Yeah, see, you, you trusted in a divine, with divine timing coming out. And you trusted that this person would come in with an apology. And I feel like that's what happened. You were given an opportunity to apologize or someone here was given an opportunity to apologize and forgiveness was needed because someone here at one point in time was avoiding this situation and that's what caused things to be uh, stagnant when in all actuality an apology just needed to go forth in order for you to and this person to move forward and grow together okay and to bring forth some type of clarity all right so now that clarity is here i feel like for you you're able to see things from a different view 
viewpoint and you're more committed to this person, to this situation. Some of you are married to this person. Could be, um, I know, a, a, a Capricorn or an Aquarius. But some of you could be married to this person. But you're able to see things from a different viewpoint. And that's why in the near future, you have this new stable beginning coming in. So you have a new beginning in love. And this new beginning in love will be stable. You fear that things are not going to... Um, you fear this person is not healed. And in them not being healed. Because the problem is not you. The problem is your person. And with this person not being healed, you feel like things are going to be stagnant on their part. They're going to cause this to be stagnant because you you have something stable and loving. That's what's in your in your mind. That's what you're manifesting. But this person has fear. This person is operating out of uh, out of fear. Let's see why. Why is this person operating out of fear? They are very emotional because they are stuck in the past. Yeah, they're they. This person needs to reflect. Okay, and instead, oh, and again, and the same thing you went through. Instead of this person reflecting and going within, they're projecting this behavior, and it's causing distance. It's causing them to have fear and go into retreat. This person could be living out their karma. Could be a Libra living out their karma. Okay, I see someone here living out their karma. But I do feel like justice will be served and there will eventually be a rebirth. And it is going to be a rebirth in this union and things will start to move forward because this person is going through their process now, becoming one with self. Okay, There's, sometimes people fear looking or going within because when you look... Within, you have to face yourself. You have to face yourself when you go within. So this person fear is in fear that things are not healing or they won't heal because they're in the process of going within, okay? This is going to be a wish fulfillment for you because I see it's going to bring in balance, but I also feel like you're going to need to be patient with this person. Yeah. Because this is going to end up being a, a, a new passionate beginning. Some of you are definitely dealing with an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. This person is going to be very tempting. There are going to be new seeds planted. I don't... I see this card with deception at the top. I don't feel... What I feel deception means regarding this particular situation is that this person may be wearing a mask. They may not be telling you that they're going through this process. And I feel like um, I'm seeing around autumn. Someone's name can be autumn, but around autumn, they're go there's going to be change in this union. Okay, so that, what is that? Um, between September and October, September and, and mid-November, change is going to come in. Leo's energy is here. And this could be the divine feminine going through this. So apply the energy as it fits to your story. But I'm definitely seeing someone here calling on their spirit guides for um, assistance because you have already gone through your transition. Your person is going through theirs now, whether they are new, whether this is someone new that you just met, or this is someone that you are or have previously or currently been in a relationship. This person is going through um, the dark night of the soul. They are going through their transformation. So I feel like with divine timing coming out here, okay, I feel like give this person some time to go through their transformation because it will benefit you in the long run, okay? So I'm going to leave it at that, Geminis. I hope this reading resonates. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up image. It helps the video circulate. But um, share, subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Make sure your notification bell is on because I do go live often for questions and answers and also random tarot readings. 
be blessed. I am sending you love, light, peace, and healing energy. Thanks for watching. Enjoy the rest of your week, and I will see you next time. Peace.